Hello, everyone, and welcome to our track guide for this week. This week, we are at Iowa Speedway. Iowa Speedway, of course, is a 78th mile D-shaped oval. It's by definition a short track, but it really does race like a speedway track. So if it turns one and two here, running the bottom lane, very smooth on the wheel for corner entry, and then through the corner, same here in turns three and four. We really want to focus on maintaining our momentum throughout the corners to get good launches onto the straightaways. And our corner entry here, again, you saw I had a bit of a comfort lift. I'll do the same here in three and four, just to kind of help settle the car, get through the corner. Lifting in clean air is not going to be particularly unusual, especially on a higher fuel load. And as we cross start finish again, I'll go ahead and show you the second lane. So entering lane two, nice and smooth on the wheel again. Lane two is going to help us carry speed. So if we're being passed, it can help us defend from the inside car. Or we can even make a pass in the middle lane as well. Back to turns one and two. Again, another thing to be careful of is Iowa is very bumpy. Especially if there's bumps in turns one and two on the bottom lane. Three and four, there's not too many particular bumps you have to be worried about. And coming back to the start finish straight, we're going to listen to an example of one of those bumps. Let's try and take the high line to one and two. If you hear that sound, it means you definitely hit a bump and your car is bottomed out. You're going to lose a lot of speed if you hit that particular bump. In turns three and four, though, there are no bumps. The high line is usable. And those are some laps at Iowa Speedway. And now let's go ahead and take a look at some other quick tips. Starts and restarts at short tracks can get particularly hectic, especially at Iowa Speedway. As we look at the leading car here on a mock restart, it's going to enter the corner. He's going to get a little bit loose. It's nothing he can't handle, but the car behind does not get loose, is able to maintain momentum because he's ahead of his in-car tools. So this includes things like the weight jacker, the front ARV, the rear ARV. You're going to have to adjust these accordingly for starts to make sure you keep the balance of your car stable. These in-car adjustments are going to be vital here when managing traffic as well as the arrow wash behind other cars. So the car trailing here is probably softening the front bar or adding positive weight jacker. Other things you can do, of course, is try and take a different line than the car in front of you as well as just simply lifting before corner entry. You have to make sure though that when you're using your settings for traffic, you're also adjusting for clean air or vice versa. Here this car in front pushes a little bit. He is likely behind on his in-car adjustments and the car trailing is able to take advantage and close up. Here's an example of some of the side-by-side -side racing that Iowa is famous for. So this is in part due to the progressive baking of the corners. So in the corners, the bottom lane is 12 degrees, the middle lane is 13 degrees, and the top lane is 14 degrees. So while the bottom lane, yes, of course, is the shortest around the track, you're going to have an extra degree of banking in the middle to help propel you onto the straightaways. So you can see, even with the car in the bottom, it's getting really good runs. He's really managing well on the bottom. The car on the outside is able to hold, and sometimes you can hold this for upwards of 5 to 10 laps. If you are running in the middle of the track, you do want to make sure you're cognizant of the fact that the low car may push up into you. In this case, the car in the bottom hit the bumps, and the car in the middle was just barely able to avoid, just a slight net code contact. At Iowa, you can pit off a of turn four, but one thing to consider in terms of overall pit strategy is if you pit under green, you will lose two laps. If a caution comes out, you'll likely be pinned two laps down. So take that into consideration before thinking about short pitting. For more information about Iowa Speedway in the IndyCar this week on iRacing, check below in the description for a link to the weekly form thread, as well as an invite to the IndyCar Community Discord.